Rona brings the beach to the desert, the Malandari Festival in Baralula, and the finalists for the Nima Award. Today on That was the latest Red Dust Role Model song from the Warramianga community on the beautiful Tiwi Islands. Welcome to episode 153 of BAMF TV. I'm Rory McKenzie. And I'm Courtney Bailey. How's everyone doing out there? Common Ground is an organisation that actively promotes the knowledge, cultures and stories of First Nations people all around Australia. It's a brainchild of young Cadish women, Rona Glynn MacDonald. When she left the NT to go to uni in Melbourne, she was shocked to realise how little the rest of Australia knew about Aboriginal culture. Not only is she looking to change the way Australia sees its past and future, she's also an outstanding producer of electronic music, releasing her latest EP in May. BAMP TV caught up with her after her DJ set at the Pachama Festival. My name is Rona. I grew up on Ardena country, just over that mountain. I loved growing up here in Alice Springs. I felt that school had a lot of opportunity. There was a lot of sport and a lot of music. And because there's less people here, it meant that, you know, you have a lot of time with teachers who really support and back you. 
When I was at school, I played in a band. We were called Small Jupiter and we made rock and folk music and we used to play around town here in Alice Springs and we toured up to Darwin once, which was really exciting. After high school, Rona went down south for uni and found new inspiration. When I went down to Melbourne, I started going to clubs, which was pretty wild. I was really inspired by electronic music and the beat and the driving force behind it and how you could bring in so many different sounds into that space and play with synths and keyboards. Music has become more accessible over time, like you, know, don't, you don't need to go into a studio to be able to record something, you can record on a laptop or a phone and as a young person that access has enabled me to be able to try out my own thing and be able to develop my own ways of storytelling. Filmmaking is another part of Rona's story, with her father being the legendary writer-director Warwick Thornton and her brother Dylan River having just written and directed the new series of Mystery Road. All my family are in film and you know, I didn't want to be a filmmaker but I have always seen the power of storytelling and being able to shape perspectives and ensure that our voices are heard. Rona has already seen how young Indigenous artists are using technology to create music. It's really powerful to see that generations keep coming through and there's more and more young people stepping up into media and film and music and that's just going to get stronger and stronger over the next couple of decades. It's been awesome talking to you and I hope that you're inspired to Tell your stories through music and find healing, power and joy in that. Colour.
do you like most about your hometown? Going to see the rock. What do you like about school? Spelling. What don't you like about school? Going home. What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Being able to go to school. Who's your favourite performer of all time? We will rock you from Queen. Yo, I'm Big T, and y'all watching VAM TV. Peace. <laughs> hey, what up? It's Kenyon Brown. I uh, just want to give a big shout out to VAM TV, um, to all the communities that are looking at this. We're in Borolula right now, so this is one of uh, one of the many tours to come. So look, be on the lookout. We're gonna come out there. All right, VAM TV. Much love. Welcome to VAMP TV News, all the news that's worth having a chat about. First up, the National Indigenous Music Awards, or NEMAs, are being held in Darwin this weekend. It's been a big year for First Nations music. The finalists for Song of the Year include Maisha with Made for Silence, Thelma Plum with Backseat of My Mind. Of my and Milkamana by King Stingray. <laughs> King Stingray and Thelma Plum will be performing live, along with Yurumul, Jay Miller, and Emma Donovan and the Putbacks. So, if you're anywhere near Darwin this weekend, check it out. The Black Rock Band starts a major tour this month as a part of the annual Guts Touring Project. Black Rock will be doing 11 gigs in 13 days with Adelaide band Bad Dreams, starting in Jabiru and finishing in Kalkarinji for the Freedom Day celebrations. Along the way, the bands will be hosting some great music workshops, so check out their website to see when they'll be in your community. King Stingray will finally release their first album this Friday. The album includes the singles, Hey Wanaka, Get Me Out, and Let's Go. The band is calling for a national holiday on Friday to mark the occasion. Over 10,000 people have signed up already. And that's all from MTV News. Send us in any exciting events happening at your school and we'll tell everyone else. <laughs> the Malandari Festival happens every year in Baralula. It's a chance for the community to come together to celebrate local culture, music and dance on beautiful Yanua country. It's also a chance for students of the school to have some fun performing for their community. The students of Baralula School have been working hard to rehearse two songs for the festival, learning them in English, Yanua and Garwa. Mandala, 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 
Welcome to the Melon Diary Festival 2022. Finally, it's time to perform. Put your hands together, you mob. I think these kids work hard. On BAMP TV, we want to know... That how do you say... How do you say four words in your language? Today we're going to hear from the students of Fink, near the southern border of the Territory. And their language group is Yangajara. Cockatoo. Kakalara. Mouth. Ja. Rain. And hungry. Our word for hungry in Yankujara is Aymajara. Send us a video of your words from community to fantv.mail at ntschools.net. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time for the top five. Into the top five this week, it's the new queen of RB, Maisha, and still dreams. Sliding back one spot to number four, it's the Nayu community with River River. This is Daily River Boys, we're making a good choice. Next generation, we carry the strong voice. We pass it up from the old to the new. The new kids are growing, keep flowing the story through. The river, 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 it washes away the pains. Cleanses to pass, the let us begin again. Listen to the words, be speaking right here. My mind's run free when the river's runs clear. River, river. Jumping into number three, it's King Stingray's new single, Camp Dog. Oh, Camp Dog, I know you're angry, but 
please don't take this out on me I'm just trying to get back home in one piece Looking at me I know you think you're king of the community King of the street Get down please At number two, it's the Koori Mob from New South Wales with Our Country, Our Life. Yeah, we buckin' you moopers, we strong and proud. Yeah, we standing up tall and we yelling it out. Buckin' Jim Aurora is the place where I'm from. We're the buck and Miss Amari where people belong. We want mom, so you know our spirit is strong. It's been 60,000 years and our culture still lives on. And at number one this week, it's the hard rocking Mogabore School Hard Rock Band with Rock and Roll. <laughs> Did you know that every episode of VAMP TV comes with a whole lot of classroom activities? Not only are they fun and interesting to do, they're properly mapped to the Australian curriculum. 
All you have to do is click on the link below this episode to get more value for your vamp.